like reading. I like reading. I like reading books. So I'm in LA right now, which is kind of cool. I'm in a hotel that's on Rodeo Drive. That's so awesome, right? Anyhow, I finished uh, a book yesterday and I'm like, dude, I gotta give you guys another book review because I've been getting your emails and all that stuff and I know, why have I been a slacker? You know why I've been a slacker? Because I just dropped my mixtape and if you didn't know about it, it's called Mashed Potatoes. Kicking it on 14K Flay is the bombers that you've heard or seen. Today's book review is going to be this book. The Drunkard's Walk by Leonard Mladenow. I think that's how you say it. Leonard, hit me up if I mispronounce that. I read this book on a plane. I read this book in a hotel room. I read this book in my apartment. And I read this book on BART. So I read this book in many different places. And I liked it every place that I read it. It's kind of like half a history of statistics and probability. And kind of like the basic fundamental principles of statistics and probability. Get a calculator, do the math. And then the other half of it, which is definitely intertwined, is, is a study of randomness and how we as humans perceive, or actually more to the point of this book, don't perceive the randomness that sort of like permeates our every being. I feel like mini bars are for children and drunk people. It's like kids just want it because it's there. And drunk people don't care how expensive it is because they're drunk and lazy. If we think back to like um, hunter-gatherer days, you know, so let's say you're a gatherer. I totally would have been a hunter, by the way. The normal distribution is actually just a graphical representation of Pascal's triangle thing, which is like the coefficients of polynomials. That kind of blew my mind. I actually never really knew that. Crazy. Interesting. And then like smileys. I'd be like, haha, what? <laughs> I'm about to read a quote that's gonna blow your mind. In fact, a statistical ensemble of people acting randomly often displays behavior as consistent and predictable as a group of people pursuing conscious goals. So let's think about that for a sec. That's kind of a crazy statement. The message he conveys is this, listen. If you look at successful people from all walks of life, okay, so different kinds of business and arts and sports and whatever. The common thread running through all of these people is that they persevere and they try really freaking hard. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. That is inspirational. Hold on to what, we've got. what do you call it when a cool breeze comes down Rodeo Drive? Beverly chills. The real question is, could I beat Leonard Mlada now at a bowling match? And the answer is, yes. You know why? Because tonight, I bowled a 147 and then a 145. Bowling. I want to leave you guys with the following message. This was a very interesting book. So for my math and science mother out there, take a look. I think you might like what you read. It's thought-provoking, interesting. If you find that you don't have a lot to say at dinner parties, you could read this book and you'll probably seem smart. I'm gonna get back to chilling in the hotel room. You know, I'm having like a crazy after party right now, so. No need for the intro. Me and my kinfolk, leader stampede MCs here on this coast. So let's shepherd the herd.